From the living room window, I could see something like a tool shed on the property. And again, zombies in this playthrough, they are not really playing the subtlety card. This one literally threw herself through a window at Jordan, so we brained her with the wrench and we claimed her baggy jeans. Luckily, the other window was unlocked, so Jordan didn't have to shred up his hands climbing inside, because one way or the other, I was definitely entering that tool shed. And, you know, I found a box of screws and a screwdriver inside, which on the surface seems like it should be amazing, but you basically can't do jack without a hammer in this game, I guess. I mean, like, I, I couldn't find anything inside the house that I could actually disassemble, like, no Ikea furniture, for example. And even if I did, I guess you still need a hammer and nails to do anything with it. So after clearing the perimeter, I was officially at the point where I kind of was just done. <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. And with that said, I felt like I had done enough anyway, so I went upstairs, did some burpees, and put Jordan to bed, knowing this was probably the last good sleep he would ever have. It's clear nobody's coming to rescue him. He is well and truly screwed, but you know, he is alive for now. 